Today we are going to see how regular people live in India, deep in the country. What houses and rooms they have. What do they do for living, without reading and writing skills. Do you know what it is, guys? What's gonna happen if you feed some pot to a bull? That is a special grass. In my last video I showed you Ohm's house. His house turned out to be the richest. Now he's going to show us what life is for the most of the Indians that live in these straw houses. Oh my gosh, but there's so many Indian kids. They walk everywhere without control. In our country, kids never go far without parents' control, you know. We look after them constantly. But here people have no worries about it. Fancy that. That's weird. I thought wandering here is dangerous even for adults. You have seen it yourself, guys. We have passed 32 years old girl. A child was standing on the road and looking at us. Wow, they sell some yummies here. Oh no, we've passed it again. Cool spot. Guys, we have come somewhere. Wow, cool palm trees. Is it a cow or a buffalo? Looks like a buffalo. Let's ask about it. <laughs> Just take a look at my seat. I was sitting on the trunk. Are you okay, Anton? Generally, yes. But two times it was too painful. A boy is playing with a tire. It's a kind of fun here, isn't it? Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Namaste. 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 Go, come. Go. Just go tell us. Just tell about everything. We will translate it all later. Yes, yes. Yes. Ye is ghar ke malik hai. The owner of the house. Can he tell us something? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. He will. It's exciting. No one has ever filmed that. Yes, yes, come. Look, Anton, the floors are covered with clay. This is a kitchen. Kitchen. That is kitchen, Anton. But where is the stove? Oh, that is kitchen. Okay. Aha, it is the same cooker, like Om's neighbors have. Look, Anton, they don't sweep floors, they just cover it with clay instead. Yeah, we have seen it before. <laughs> have you filmed that? Yeah. Kids are playing. As you see, living quarters are different from Om's. It is not the same like at Om's place. Look, the image of a deer, giant horns, or is it a cow? Just tell us, what do you think it is? Bedroom. It is so clean here. Looks like it was clean just yet. Maybe they had prepared for our visit. An electric meter, really? In a straw house. 248 volts, 0 amperes, 0 consumption. Cool meter. I can see everything at once. Yes, yes, yes. Look at the wires, guys. Very thin. By the way, they use electricity just for bulb. And for another bulb in the neighbor room. And for phone charging. That's it, one socket for one house. A giant bed it is. And there is a gas cooker. Yes. What is it for? Petty. Ah, so it is a wardrobe. A fancy door. Baby, baby. baby. <laughs> this kid is shocked. Outside it looks like a straw house, but inside it is whitewashed. Is it for winterization? There is some light too. Well, that is the difference between rich and poor here in India. Villagers can afford a house from bricks, stone, concrete and so on. It is lavish. People less rich can afford these straw houses, like those. They build them themselves. Use the old good technique of claying the walls. What is that? A figure of a cow? Isn't it? Tears? Really? In India? That's strange. And it really resembles a deer. Oh my gosh, so many people here. Look at it, Anton. And there's another bulb over there. They have the LED lighting, the most modern option. 
She's cleaning. She wasn't expecting us here. A shovel? It's a regular shovel, Indian shovel. Right if he knows the difference between Indian shovel and regular one, like we have. We would love to see it. Bamboo? Yeah, it is. It is just the hint, guys. Yeah, not the main thing. What kind of fruit is that? Carrots? Come on, it doesn't look like this. Haldi. Turmeric it is. Turmeric? Really? I told you it's not carrots. Look here, carrots have no bumps like this. I know this, but I thought it's okay in India. No smell. What is that, Anton? I think these are some parts for the house? No? That's shit. Have I touched poo? What does he say? Yeah, that was shit. Anton touched it. He thought that those were parts. What do you use them for? Fuel, maybe? Firing the stuffs? Yes, yes. Fire? Yes. From Dan, really? Actually, can make an iced tea from it. Have you tried it? Sure thing. Go to Kazakhstan. Go to the steep. Go fishing, and there will be some. From the ground? Just throw some pressed dung in a samovar. Make tea with it. From cow shit. Will it smell well? Smoke smells awesome and tea becomes extremely fancy and tasty. That is awesome, try dude. Let's go? go. Yes. Go. Let's not bother the locals anymore. Let's better make some experiments now. Oh. <laughs> you know, Anton, we should give some candies to the kids here. As a present. Do we have some? No. Let's just give them a buck. Too little. What? Oh, we haven't watched everything yet. Let's go. One more room. There's a super machine for extracting cane juice. Look at it. It's big. Look at the gears. No. No. <laughs> Is it for cane? Cause I'm not sure now. I see some crazy gears and shafts. No, no, no. What is for then? For grass cutting? Yes. It can be so. What? Go. Go. Just pin it, Anton. Okay. Yes. One second. One second. One second. Wait, Anton. Don't spin. Yes. Yes. Go. Your hand. Careful. So what's happening now? It is cutting the grass. You got it, Anton. This thing cuts grass. What for? Why? Is it for cows? A cow or a buffalo can easily eat that. That's it, Anton. What's that? Smells good. Is it mint? Yes. It's ganja. Ganja? No ganja. Bang. Bang. They feed cows with cannabis. Bang. Is it legal, Anton? Here, yes, it's okay. Bang. Cannabis? Ganja? Really? Look what he says. Cannabis. Yes, yes, yes. Smell it. Well, it smells... Forest? Or a field or grass. <laughs> He's still drunk. They feed it to make buffaloes drunk. Imagine that. It doesn't spoil buffaloes or cows. Guys, what do you think? Why do people feed buffaloes and cows? With what, Anton? I can feel a fresh smell. I like the smell. So they cut cannabis with this thing and make a kind of hay for buffaloes. Well, that is why they go calmly and never attack anyone. Do buffaloes become calm from that? Yes, yes. So they make them peaceful. <laughs> they are genius. Yeah, really. Just admire that mechanism. Oh my gosh. Bro, bro, bro. What does it mean? Bro, bro, nothing? 
<laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Kids are eating the pot. Actually, they ate it up. There was a handful. I keep crashing into low ceilings. There is a toilet, guys. And it looks modern, for this place at least. And the neighbor house is pretty rich. Is it the cow or buffalo? Buffalo? Yeah. Can we eat buffaloes? No, no. No? No. What do you grow them for? It's easy. It's calm and easy with weed. For milk. Aha, uh -huh. buffalo milk. Would you like some buffalo milk? No, I think I'm gonna shit myself from it. <laughs> they make butter from it. Too much butter in milk. Yeah. No, no, no. Why do they put a rope in their noses? Anton, we should give some candies to children. I feel uneasy. Can we give them a souvenir? Russian cash, little. Yes, little, little. Yes, yes. I've got some. But what they can do with it, just as a souvenir? Have you got some Russian money? Maybe we shall give them more. To housekeeper, a souvenir from Russia. I think it's a nice gift. Cause everyone loves to collect money. He's gonna laugh at us now. Yeah, and say what? Hundred rubles? What the heck? Too little. They can't spend it anyway. These people live well, actually. I cannot say it is complete poverty. It's all clean and nice. Yeah. No, maybe we have come wrong time. Came and they were eating. And didn't eat up. Yeah, and we have just come in the middle of the meal. Nice houses. Anton, I really want to come back and give them candies. What do you say? Bro, confetti, go! We have decided to get some yummies for those poor families. Ah, there's lots of candy bars. We're gonna get a box and give to all kids. A bunch of it. We must get quite enough. Om said if someone doesn't get one, they're gonna fight for it. Let's see, we are buying this giant barrel of candies, some cookies and chocolate. 1,800. 1,100 rupees? 100 rupees? Yes. I just have nothing to say. It is really cheap, yeah. Let's test them, we have to be sure they are good. They are sealed. Come on, try. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Okay. <laughs> Butterscotch? Toffees, cool. Just like we have. It's called Candy Man. A little candy. Look at it. Do you see, guys? A regular toffee. Fancy that. But for 10,000 we could feed the entire village. Sure thing, Alex. 670 rupees. There's 4 kilograms of sweets. The price, if you don't believe us. A box of cookies. 4.5 kilos. 440 rupees. Yes, help me, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Home war is much about kids' behavior. We should give some to each kid. No one's there. No children. Yes, yes, Now they come from all directions, Anton. Bro, come. Shall we open? <laughs> He's taking all of them. <laughs> oh, thank you. Bola, thank you. Bolo? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Come closer. Take it, take it. 
Little by little. You are right, plenty of people have come here. I couldn't imagine that number of people. There is no end of them. <laughs> Children are very happy. Have some more. Has everyone got some? Yes, yes. Let's go, my village. To his village. There was some tension in the end. Yeah. Come on, Alex, sit. Bye, bye. Bye, everyone. There were too much of cookies. Couldn't expect it. Infinite cookies. I thought they're gonna tear me apart in the end. There was some hustle and people were asking for more sweets, gathering around me and ask more, 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 give us. And Om said, that's enough, we should get out of here. Enough of them. We're going to Om's village again. Let's share some candies with other kids in his village. We have come and we would like to give away the rest here to local kids. In Om's village. Thank you, Bolo. Thank you. Thank you. Well mannered. Get some candy. Thank you. Thank you. The difference in behavior is huge. Yeah. They wait in a line and don't hustle. And say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. These kids are well mannered, really. We've got plenty of cookies. <laughs> They take it normally, everyone takes a yummy and walks away. And that's it. He is happy. There's a girl. Oh, it's own sister. Hey, Bolo, thank you. Go. Go. Okay, let's go. Go, go. That was just for 1100 rupees or rubles. For this sum we could eat twice in McDonald's. But here we can feed two villages. And we have still got a lot of candies. Children were overwhelmed. Om said some of adults pretended they weren't given sweets. And they just turned back to take more. Taking advantage we don't see them. Yeah, they hid sweets and returned with bare hands. Some of them did it three times. Anyway, we did it from the bottom of our souls. I hope those people appreciated that, cause we did it from open and honest heart. Did you get what we're gonna do? We're going to get some clay, isn't it? Ah. Guys, we're going to see how those poor people from straw houses earn money for living. No problem. Anton is dancing behind me. Sorry, I didn't mean that. We're going far in the distant area, Anton. What do you say? In the wilds. I say I need a pillow to put it under my... Because I'm sitting on the trunk of the motorcycle. God damn it. What a hellish pump is that? Brackage? Did you mention that the hose was made of plastic bag? Maybe this hose is very cheap. Just look at this swamp. There's an awful lot of water comparing to how we water our fields. They need to make a real pond. I know that people water rice this way. Lots of water. We are going to get some clay. Are we here? They're bathing the buffaloes, dude. Look at this! Real buffaloes. He's watching them. I see it for the first time. Cool. There's a tamarind tree. What grows on it? Guys, if you know what is tamarind and what fruit it gives, write about it. Because I see it for the first time. And there's a palm tree over there. See? Oh my gosh, guys, where are we? Don't step on them. Some goods for sale. Do you think we will make it, Alex? True thing, it is easy. Just spin it hard. Look there. <laughs> Look at it, it's a kind of spinning top. No motor needed, cool isn't it? Yeah. But I think making clay takes plenty of time. 
Just look at it. We can see the process of creation. It is a pot. The circle doesn't stop. And then it will be baked, right? They need to cook them to make firm. He is polishing it. Smoothing. Why does he close it? He closed the bottom. To make it even, maybe? Is it going to be closed? Is it it? Ready? Pretty strange. He spins that thing and left, yeah. Oh, there he goes, taking something off there. See that? A big poo. It will become softer after he needs it. Look at them, aren't this beautiful? But there's so much of dust everywhere. They're going to bake them anyway. So, that is the purpose of this ridge lying there. They're gonna fire it and... Fire? Yes. Yes. For fire. Today? No. Uh, tomorrow? Um. So the sun dries first, and then you bake them, aha. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, no water, then fire. So if you put them in the oven, they're gonna crack. Look here, these are closed, but why so? It is going to be something big. It is really dense in the beginning. That is awesome. It is growing. I think we cannot do something like this. A vase, really. I can easily imagine how I put food here and sit on the table. As always, people come to look at us. Namaste. Namaste. It is another shape now, it's a pot. He is changing its shape. There's a thread. Is he going to tear it? That's it. There was a string, Anton. Wanna try it, Anton? Sure thing. It is just clay. Oh, what do they have here? So many. It is going to be a fail, dude. Agree, you cannot make it. Just make the sound lower. Aha, uh -huh, in the middle. Aha, uh -huh, I need to throw it. <laughs> Come on, Anton, do it, spin it. Yes, Come on, Anton, do it, do it. Spin. More, faster, faster. Enough, that's it. What's with the hands? Add some water. Oh my gosh, what the hell. Why are you moving it? <laughs> raise it. Come on, raise it. <laughs> what are we doing wrong? <laughs> that wasn't hard. Why couldn't he do it? He just did it in the wrong way. Look, it is drying right away. Do I look like a loser? And now we must make a selfie in return. By the way, these pots are cheap. Actually, they are cheaper than plastic plates, for example. Wherever we go, we will be surrounded by people. When we arrived, there were two, but look now. And they kind of peering at us. Okay. Yes, let's go. Good. Thank you, India. Yes. Goodbye, everyone. We almost fell down. The front wheel bumped up too much. Here? We are lost. That happens. Anton, will you find a road back? If you lost here, how much time would it take you? It would take me forever, really. Few hours, definitely. It is hard to go there even with GPS system, but without it, I don't know what would we do. We would be lost. Locals don't know the language, and I don't know the language. So that would be difficult to get out of here. Despite low wages, everyone has a smartphone. But how do they use internet if they can't read? Do they just sit in TikTok? Right, what else would you like to know about India? Next time we will show you how people have fun here.
Subscribe and don't miss that.